the end of this video, I will teach you how to handle those tricky stage directions that require walking, running, and riding a bike. For the best acting advice and audition tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that bell to be notified when I post a new Actors Daily Bread video every Tuesday. Stay tuned. What's up? I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, and I am the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors. I've helped hundreds of actors from around the world crush their auditions and book more TV. And now it's your turn. So let's get into it. Look, I know it can be hella weird to get an audition script and then you have nothing to create in your environment except your backdrop, right? So before we dive in, let me be clear. There's only so much you can do in a self-tape audition. Why? Because it's an audition, okay? And casting knows that. So just breathe, take a wusa, and you're gonna do the best that you can, okay? So I'm gonna give you three tips on how to walk, run, and ride a bicycle so that you don't feel too weird or look too weird in your next audition. And trust me, you will need these tips. Tip number one, never walk in place, okay? Never, 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 never do this, okay? It looks weird, right? And it kind of looks like you're trying to like do some weird like chicken dance. Like, like. <laughs> don't do that, seriously, don't do that. Instead, walk into the scene and establish yourself, then stop. Okay? And I'm gonna show you this in a second in real life. You're gonna walk in, establish yourself, then stop. Then you can either take two to three steps in a different direction of your frame. So remember, this is your frame, right? I always like to just put my arms out here. Just how you're watching me now, this is the space that I have. So I like to be in the middle of this, but if I had to step forward, I can step forward. You don't wanna go out of frame, right? So I can take one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? So again, Jane walks down the street. No, we're not doing this. So instead, hey John, how you doing? Good to see you, four, five. I've taken like five steps. I'm gonna turn the camera down. Don't be weirded out. I'm gonna show you my shoes. So you can see what I just did. I know, just, just hang with me, okay? So what I just did was, I'm out of frame, one, two, three, four. Hey, how's it going? See what I did there? So that's how I can establish myself in the scene by walking. You try it. One, two, three, four. Now we don't have to keep moving. Just that walk in and extra steps establish that I'm walking in my scene. And so then naturally we're gonna stop and we'll have our conversation or whoever it is I'm talking to for the remainder of the scene and then maybe I will walk off. Maybe I'll walk off when it's done. Again, casting knows this is an audition. You can't possibly be walking in an audition. This is just weird, okay? So that's tip number one. All right, tip number two. Does your scene require running? Oh, this is a tricky one and it's so fun. So here's your tip. Figure out what kind of running is required. What do you mean, Christine? Is the character running in or out of the room? Is the character running on a treadmill? Is the character running on a hiking trail? You gotta figure out what the scene is calling for because it's gonna change how you show up. So it's imperative that you know how your character running fits into the scene, okay? So that you make sure you're showing up in the right way. So I'm gonna show you a few examples of running in, running out, running on a treadmill while talking, <laughs> that's fun, and running in to establish, then stopping. This will be similar to walking in to establish. So I'm gonna start with that one first, because maybe it's you running on a hiking trail with a friend and the whole scene is you like running through Central Park. Again, you wanna make sure you can figure that out. So running in to establish. Oh my gosh, oh, that's so fun. Man, how's it going with you and your wife? <sighs> really? Well, it's been tough for me, okay? Running in to establish. Here's running, just running in. 
we gotta get out of here. See that? Oh, running, he's running out. Right? Uh, oh my God, he's coming. Cat, go, go, go. Now keep in mind, I'm being very extra dramatic right now. But do you see, you have to, you have to get the energy in your body. We can't fake, we're not gonna fake run. Either you're running or you're not. Running out, running in. And remember, this is about your breath too. Don't, like when you're actually running, your breath, your heartbeat, your heart rate changes, right? Bring all of that to your auditions and we will actually believe you, okay? Let's say the whole scene is you on the treadmill. You have fun with it. What? Oh my gosh. I would stop, personally. Now, everything I say is you can take it with a grain of salt. For me personally, I think it would feel distracting to casting. In an audition, with just this, when they're trying to really connect to my eyes, they're trying to see my emotion and all my choices. So even though it says I'm running on the treadmill, I may choose to stop. Like I may start, hey John, like maybe I'm on Bluetooth or something. Yeah, what are you doing over there? What? Oh, okay, cool, see you later, man. And maybe I pretend my buttons to the treadmill in here and then I end the scene and fade to black. Now, this is so, I have so much to tell you, but I, it's only so much I can tell you in a quick YouTube video. So that's running, that's tip number two. The main point of this is figure out what kind of running you're supposed to be doing, all right? Tip number three. <laughs> so, do you have a scene that requires riding a bike? This came up for me during pilot season. I read for a pilot where the character that I read for was in a cycling class. And I was like, hmm, how am I gonna do this? And I got the bright idea. So the tip here is, all you need is a stool. Or, if you don't have a stool, the key is to have a chair that does not have a back right because you don't want like an office chair because it just ruins the illusion right we want a backless chair so that it feels like you're actually you know doing something so let me show you I'm gonna adjust my camera ignore I'm gonna make this wider but you don't worry about all the extra stuff you see okay so I have my chair I have my stool you see how the bottom of my stool has the little foot thing I'm gonna straddle it and I just put my feet on this. Well, no, actually, I don't put my feet on it. I just kind of use this, or you, or go like this. I know it feels. I know this looks weird. I know it looks weird. But I promise you, when you do this in an audition and you're framed correctly, keep in mind, no one sees this stool. Your frame is still chest to the top of the head. The key with all stage directions is for us to see the action in your physicality. That's all that matters. You know what, I'm missing a piece. I'm missing a piece. It's not just the stool. This is where you can get a, another chair. We won't see the chair, remember. So, I'm gonna lean on the chair. I'm gonna zoom in tighter again so that you can see what it would look like if I were auditioning. Adjust the frame. Remind you, I'm on the stool, and now my hands are on the back of the chair. And all I'm doing is rocking from side to side. Are you kidding? That's crazy. What did he say? And if I want to get fancy, I can... You see what I mean? No, you're like... I feel like I'm dancing. But, you know, last time actually, I didn't use a chair, I used a table, but you can use a table, you can use another chair to lean on. Even if you turn this chair sideways and you lean on the hand, it'll give you a lower profile. So let's see what that looks like. So now I'm just leaning on the arm part and I'm, I'm just moving. Are you kidding? What did he say? And I'm just going like this with my feet. Like a dance, like a dance. <laughs> I know I'm being silly, but I'm being serious. That's how you do it. 
Okay, so now you know my exact steps to take the next time you get an audition script and it says you have to walk, run, or even do something crazy like ride a bike. Okay? I go so much deeper into all kinds of tricky stage directions in my online signature course. It's called Book More TV. So if you want to join actors from around the world who are crushing their auditions, not being hung up on these stage directions, and you want to book more TV, more film, more commercials, then come on, click the link below in the description and learn about Book More TV. I would love to welcome you. And don't forget to spread the love, okay? If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. <sighs> okay, thank you for watching. Practice those tips and I'll see you in the next video.